Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss what is the operators and we are going to learn how to use it in VBA. So without wasting any time, let's dive into it. So what is operators? Well, an operator can be defined using a simple expression 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9. Here 4 and 5 are called operands and plus is called operator. VBA supports following types of operators. Well, what are those types of operators? Arithmetic operators, comparison operators, logical or rational operators, or concatenation operators. So let's discuss one by one the arithmetic operators. So here we are going to assume the value of a is equal to 5 and the value of b is equal to 10. So we are going to take this two value and are going to perform this operation. So first perform plus operations. What would be the operation results? Well, it will add the boundary number and the results would be 15. And now we'll, we are going to perform this subtract operators and what would be the results? Well, the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 10. Definitely the results is going to be negative because the value of a is less than the value of b. So what would be the results? The results would be minus 5. Now let's do this star operators. Star stands for the multiplication. So it will multiply both the value and it will give the results. So what would be the output? Well, the value of a is 5, the value of b is 10. So simple multiplications, nothing complicated involved here and the results would be 50. Now let's perform this divide operation. So divide operations, we are dividing b by a. So the value of b is 10 and the value of a is 5. So definitely the output is going to be 2. Now let's discuss about this modulus operators. So modulus operators, what modulus operators uh, results would be? Well, the modulus operators results would be the reminder of the divide operations. So we are going to divide b by a first. Well, what would be the results of the divide operation? b by a. The results would be 2 and what would be the reminder? The reminder would be 0. So what this modul modulus operators result would be? The modulus operator results would be 0 only because the reminder is 0. Well, this operator is nothing but the power operators. So it is just like exponential power. This is exponential operator. So B exponential operator A. A is the power of B. So what? What would be the results? Well, how will write first? Let's discuss. A is the power of B means 5 is the power of 10. So what would be 10 to the power of 5? The 10 to the power of 5 results would be 1 and 5 times 0. It means 1 leg. So it is showing 1 leg. Now let's discuss one more operator which is comparison operators. So there are following comparison operators supported by VBA. So we are assuming here the value of A is equal to 10 and the value of B is equal to 20. First we are going to do this equal to task. Whether A is equal to B, whether 10 is equal to 20, of course not, then the results would be false. So what this comparison operator's results would be? The results of the comparison operator would be either true or false. So if the value is not equal for this operator, then the results would be false. Now this is the greater than or less than. So whether 10 is greater than or less than 20, of course yes. So the results would be true. Now this is the greater than option. So whether 10 is greater than 20, of course not. So the results would be false. Now let's discuss one more, which is less than. So whether 10 is less than 20, of course yes. So the result would be true. And whether 10 is greater than or equal to 20, of course not. So the results would be false. Well, 10 is less than or equal to 20, of course, yes. So the results would be true. Now let's discuss the logical operators. Logical operators also gives the true and false results only. Here we are going to take the value of A as a 10 and the value of B as a 0. So how we can test this logical operators? Well, we can input some expressions and get our values. So we are first inputting our expressions. What AND function will do? Well, if any of the value from the AND operators is false, then the output value will be false only. So first we are testing a is greater than less than 0, the value is true and b is greater than or less than 0, well the assigned value of b is 0, so of course it is false hence the results would be false. OR operators, if any of the expression value is true then the OR operators all value would be true. See here by example, a is less than greater than 0, the value is true. Then regardless of another expression, so we'll, the output would be true. Now here, here we will discuss the not operator. Well, if any expression value is true and we are applying this not operator on the true, then the value would be false. And if any of the expression value is false and if you are applying this not operator on that false, then the value would be true. So not will just reverse whatever results we are getting. So here, first we are going to 
perform this a greater than less than 0 of course yes so the value is true and b greater than less than 0 so value is false true and false what would be the results true because all expressions value is true if any of the expression value is true so here the value is true and what is the not of true the value of not of true is false the results would be false now here we are going to discuss one more xor operator well it is called logical exclusion it is the combination of not and or if one and only one of the expressions value to be true then the results is true it is somewhat similar to the or operation so let's discuss here a greater than less than zero true then we don't have to discuss another expression we can directly write the value as a true now let's discuss concatenation operators so these are the two concatenation operators plus and and well here we are going to take the variable value a as a 5 and the b as a 10 so first we are going to perform the plus operation so plus operations value would be 5 plus 10 is equal to 15 and the and operators value what it will do it will write first variable then it will write second variable so it will not change the value it will just put it uh, put this both variable together so a and b so what is the value of a the value of a is 5 the value of b is 10 so a and b will be 5 1 0 that would be the output if you are performing this concatenation operators on the numbers then we will be getting different results for the plus and and but if the same thing we are going to perform on the strings then what would be the value well you would be amazed because both the plus and and operator value would be same if you are performing this operation on strings let's discuss this the value of a we are taking as a microsoft and the value of b we are taking as a vb strips these both are strings so what would be the value well a plus b would give microsoft vb script and what a and b would give well it would give microsoft vb script so both the values are same so both the outputs are same so both the outputs are same in case of if the operand is a string that's it guys for today's video thank you for watching this video